It is a festival rich in tradition, but Mother Nature put a damper on attendance this year again. Then add in the cost of paying for tickets for the first time ever, and we wanted to know if City Folk Festival was a success. Rob Sneed working to get those answers for you tonight. Organizers of the 2013 City Folk Festival tell me they thought this year was a success, but will it come back next year? That answer's up in the air. It's been three weeks since the very wet City Folk Festival came to an end, and for three weeks, 2 News has been working to get you answers to see if it will return next year and how much money did it generate. I was finally able to reach City Folk Board of Trustees President Matt Dunn, who agreed to meet with me in downtown Dayton to discuss just that. He told me more than 6,000 people came out to Riverscape Metro Park to enjoy more than 23 bands. Dunn says though they generated more than $50,000 in tickets, sales with their new $7 emissions costs, they still don't have a total amount of how much money they actually earned or whether or not they broke even. We're in dialogue about that right now. One of the things that is still outstanding are uh, some bills. Uh, so we're not even 30 days out, so we haven't even received all the bills. So, you know, we have to see uh, how our finances look, uh, how that affects the rest of the season. Dunn tells me they're waiting to see if they break even before they choose to announce if the City Folk Festival will come back next year. As for now, he says they have until September 1st to decide, but Dunn is expecting to make that announcement much sooner. And again, Dunn tells me he should know within the next 30 days if this festival will come back. Reporting in downtown Dayton, Rob Sneed, 2 News, working for you.